such as uh, all the calendars that we that we have a retrospective not one single calendar ever began when we have re when we haven't recorded that it began they were all created ex post facto and that's that's another very significant thing the Anno Domini calendar was created in 526 by Sosigenes. However, it didn't come, it wasn't even used by most of the world until over 400 years later. However, the mathematical perfection between the BC and AD dates when compared to old Annus Mundi dates is shocking. When you see the forward and backwards, it almost like the calendar is like a palindrome. And you're going to have to wait till my, 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 my videos come out to understand what I'm talking about. It is some shocking stuff. I can give you like one small example now. is uh, the Trojan War, 1229 B.C., dated by many sources as the year 1229 B.C. It was the 10th year of a war that the, in the, the, uh, for the, uh, the, land, the strip of land called Ilium. The capital was Troy. The Mycenaeans under Agamemnon had been attacking for, for a decade. The Danan joined in, which were descendants of the Israelite peoples. And they had, they had joined in in the Trojan War. And in the year 1229, Troy fell. The people of Troy, knowing their fate, if they stayed, got in their ships. And a whole fleet left. Some of those fleets were found and enslaved. Those people were enslaved. Others made it to Spain. From Spain, where they, where they settled in colonies that they called Malaysia. Then, from there, they made it to the British Isles. The, Brit the ancient, ancient records of Albion, ancient British traditions and records, all claim that Londonum was originally Trojanova. It was New Troy. Then it became Londonum, and now, now you know it's London. Now, also... A very significant body of these people landed in, in Italy. When they landed in Italy, they stayed there for a while. Basically, an insignificant people that moved in and, and began to assimilate with the Latins and the Etruscans. And then they became a power unto themselves. 476 years later, 476 now, 476 years after the fall of Troy, they founded Rome in 753 B.C. Interestingly, Rome lasted 1,229 years to 476 Anno Domini. When the descendants, when the descendants of 10 tribes of people who claimed descent from Palestine, these were Israelites, defeated them. <coughs> This would have never been possible. This arithmetic would have never been possible. Trojan War, 476 years to the to the founding of the Roman state. Rome, Tro Troy is 1229 BC. Rome lasts 1229 years. The 476 years between the fall of Troy and the emergence of Rome is mirrored in the Anno Domini calendars, 476 A.D. date for the fall of Rome, and now the rise of the descendants of Troy and, and, and uh, the enemies of Troy, uh, Mycenaeans, the Greeks, the Danans, and all that. So <clears throat> this is just one example. I have recorded hundreds of examples where these calendars mirror each other. And the 476 year period is found. I, I have a whole page of over 20, 20 different historical events that were all exactly 476 years apart. And they all involve the fall, rise and fall of empires and kingdoms. And uh, when they reemerge, it's the same cultures, it's the same peoples, but it's different. It's a different location, a different time period.